Hey friends, we know it's that time of the year. It is the exam time. We understand all that you're going through. And to help you out, we have made many videos which speak about exam tips and what you should do to improve your score. You may find the links in the description. But in this session, we will tell you things you should not do before your exams. So during your board exams, you may have a gap of minimum two to three days between your papers. Uh, sometimes it's just one day or you may also have back-to-back -back exams. So you need to know what to not do during that time. So without wasting much time, let's start. The first thing not to do is do not use social media. Yes, you heard me right. Try as much as possible to fight the urge of using your phone. It's an addiction which takes away most of your time. So what happens is you start by saying hi, then your friend replies hi, then you start talking, forwarding jokes, laughing, then later you may even check your Facebook wall to see what your friends have posted. And then you also feel like posting. Later you would want to see how many likes you've got on that post. So the story never ends. Without realization you lose so many hours with so much distraction and unnecessary thoughts in your head which does not allow you to concentrate on studies. The second most important thing not to do is do not ask the most common question friends ask each other during exam preparation. How much have you finished studying? Yes friends, we have all done this. Everyone has asked each other how much you finished studying. But I'll tell you why not to ask your friend this question. So let's assume your friend has finished studying five chapters and you have finished only two. So that very moment, tension sets in and you start getting negative thoughts in your head about low grades, low marks, your admission, your future. Then you try rushing through all the chapters to reach your friend's space, compromising on the quality of studies. And suppose that your friend has studied less than you. Then you get relaxed and slow down your preparation. So very important point to know here is do not compare your preparation with anyone else. Next, talking to your friend, you get to know which books they are referring to. And if it is different from the one you have used, then again you get tense. You will go out of your way and buy that new book just before your exams. So this brings me to my third point. Do not change your book at the last minute. Do not try any new book. Your NCERT textbook or your respective state board textbook with any one reference book is sufficient. So stick to the book you have been using all throughout the year. Next thing not to do before your exam is procrastination. Never procrastinate. If you have three days preparation leave for your exam, then divide the hours according to the chapters equally and use the first two days well. If you keep postponing your studies, you will end up piling a lot to do for the last day, which will make you tense. Next, do not get influenced by the method and the way or the timetable that your friend is using. You are unique. Use the strategy that suits your way of learning. Your friend may finish all the easy chapters first and keep the difficult ones for the last minute. But you may like to study the difficult ones first. So it's okay, whatever you've been doing all this year, just stick to that strategy and do not copy anyone's strategy. Next thing not to do is try not to change your timetable at the last minute. If you have to study for 5 hours in the day, then you have to study. Get some determination to achieve that goal. If you want to know how to make a timetable for studying, we've made a video on it. You may find the link in the description. Next, if you have left any chapter for option, do not try to study it just a day before the exams. Stick to what you've already studied and spend more time in revising your content rather than studying things for the first time. Next thing not to do is try not to just read illustrations or go through diagrams and flowcharts. What I mean is, illustrations, diagrams and flowcharts are very important. But after reading it or going through them, time yourself and write the answer based on it. It will give you more confidence to attempt questions. This method is a very effective way for revision. Next, a simple thing students should not do just before exams is 
Do not eat outside food. It may make you sick at the wrong time. Eat home cooked food which is easy to digest. Also, eating heavy food will make you sleepy. So keep your meals light. Have a lot of vegetables and fruits. Also, uh, make sure that you do not hurt yourself in any way. So try staying at home as much as possible and giving your time only to studies. And at last, all the videos keep saying get a sufficient amount of sleep just before your exams. But that does not mean that you sleep more. Avoid oversleeping as it may make you lethargic and lazy. A sound sleep for 6 hours is enough during exams. If you have trouble sleeping or you get nightmares and you wake up at odd hours in the night, then watch our relaxation video, it will definitely help you. So uh, these were the 10 things that you should not do to improve your score. Lastly, remember, have confidence in what you've done. Exams, do not judge your potential or do not judge how smart and intelligent you are. They're just a part of your life. So take it with a smile and all the best for all your exams. Thank you.